Coming in at number 10 is Jennifer Lawrence. In 2017 at Elle's Women in Hollywood event, Jennifer Lawrence spoke about the film industry's approach to body image. She told the story of when she was a young actress. She says she was asked to lose 15 pounds in two weeks for a part in a film, which is an insane request, but not only was she told to shed the weight, but she was forced to strip down and compare herself to other actresses who did not have the role. She said, quote, During this time, a female producer had me do a nude lineup with about five women who were much, much thinner than me. We are stood side by side with only tape covering our privates. After that degrading and humiliating lineup, the female producer told me I should use the naked photos of myself as inspiration for my diet. End quote. Anyone else feel their blood boiling? Because I kind of do, just a smidge, just a little bit. Yeah. She went on to say that the experience made her feel trapped and that she now continuously reminds herself that she deserves to be treated with respect. And I'm so glad she could take that horrible experience and spin it into a positive thing for herself. That's not easy. Number 9. Chris Pratt Before Chris Pratt landed the role of Scott Hatterberg in Moneyball, he says he was told he had to lose weight. While he did actually go through with the weight loss so that he would be cast in the film, he says he ended up doing it in a pretty unhealthy way, which is part of the problem. I think if a production asks an actor to lose weight, they should provide resources to do so, since they think it's as easy as just doing it. He told Vanity Fair that, quote, That was the first time I heard someone say, We're not gonna cast you, you're too fat. So I decided to drop the weight, like in wrestling. I couldn't afford a trainer, so it was all running and crash dieting and cutting alcohol. End quote. If you're gonna tell someone to cut down and expect them to do it out of their own pocket when the industry is already expensive to be a part of, I don't know, maybe be a little less harsh about it. Number 8. Amy Schumer Amy Schumer may have been the writer of her film Trainwreck, but her control over the project stopped when it came to her own appearance in her own film that she wrote. She says that she was told she needed to lose weight in order to take on the lead role. On the Jonathan Ross show, Schumer jokingly described the experience by saying, quote, It was explained to me before I did that movie that if you weigh over 140 pounds as a woman in Hollywood, if you're on the screen, it will hurt people's eyes. So I lost some weight to do that, but never again. Again, she did this for her own film that she wrote. Number 7. David Harbour During a 2017 interview with The Wrap, David Harbour talked about his ironic experience auditioning to play the Blob in a Wolverine movie. When David Harbour auditioned to play the role, he ended up getting told by the director that he should probably shed some pounds, despite the fact that he was auditioning to play a character named The Blob. David said in the interview, quote, he was like, David, look, you're wonderful, we really think you're just a great actor, we're just concerned. We're really concerned. And I was like, why? What's your concern? I'm good to go. I'm available. Let's do this. And they were like, no, it's just you lifted up your shirt and we saw the we're just a little worried about your health. And I was like, wait a minute, dude, pause for a second. You are telling me I'm too fat to play the blob. That's awesome. I have to get the F back to New York. That's my audition. So I didn't get the blob. And personally, this is one I find somewhat hilarious just because of how ridiculous it is. Number 6. Kate Beckinsale Kate Beckinsale says that when she auditioned for Michael Bay's Pearl Harbor right after giving birth, Mr. Bay told her she'd quote unquote have to work out if she got the part. Kate told the story on the Graham Norton show saying quote, I don't think I fit the type of actress Michael Bay had met before. I think he was baffled by me because my boobs weren't bigger than my head and I wasn't blonde. I just had my daughter and had lost weight, but was told that if I got the part I'd have to work out, and I just didn't understand why a 1940s nurse would do that." End quote. Apparently the director then continued to insult her body through the production process of the movie. Kate's right, a 1940s nurse wouldn't do that. A lot of things in that movie aren't accurate, but honestly, have you seen a Michael Bay film? Actress Rebel Wilson went through a dramatic transformation in 2020 that has fans wondering how exactly she did it. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down how and why she decided to change her lifestyle and in turn lose over 70 pounds. In 2019, Rebel Wilson was known for playing characters that promoted body positivity, like her pitch perfect role of Fat Amy. In the movie, Amy says that she asked the girls to call her fat to her face because she knows they'll just call her fat behind her back anyways. Many felt empowered by the film, especially since Amy seemed so comfortable in her own skin. 
So fans were shocked to learn that Rebel was partaking in a lifestyle journey she was calling her quote, year of health. Then in 2020, Rebel announced on her Instagram that she intended to go through a huge health and lifestyle change that would most likely result in her losing a lot of weight. She ended up losing over 70 pounds in about a year and announced that she hit her goal weight of 165 pounds in November of 2020. Rebel has revealed that she followed something called the Mayer Method to lose the weight. This method is all about a lifestyle change and in intuitive eating. One of the principles of the diet is to focus on chewing food and eating slowly in order to achieve her drastic weight loss. Rebel said recently that she wished she'd gotten on the weight loss path sooner, when she was in her 30s. Wilson told in style quote, Now that I know I can do it, sometimes I feel sad that I didn't do it earlier. Maybe I should have tried when I was 30, not 40. But everybody's journey is different and it's not a race or competition. To get more into her weight loss method, called the Mare Method, the diet is based on eating healthy vegetables, high protein foods, and being mindful about eating, avoiding added sugars, and stress eating. A large part of the diet is actually encouraging positive lifestyle changes, like incorporating simple exercises and sleeping more. The Mayer Method dates back to the 1920s when a doctor in Austria invented it. Wilson actually went to a specific clinic in Austria that teaches the method in 2019. After this meeting, she was excited to give the diet a try. Wilson explained her new approach to her fans in a social media video, telling them how this method helps people put themselves in better situations, where they feel in control of their decisions and less distracted while they eat, so they don't make poor choices. The method encourages going for walks or hiking as a way of reducing stress, which is a cornerstone principle. The diet also allows for a glass of wine at dinner, which is a nice treat. The point of the diet change is to go from eating inflammatory foods to anti-inflammatory to change the health of the gut, focusing on tons of vegetables and high protein foods to do so. The diet avoids inflammatory foods like processed foods, dairy, caffeine, and gluten. After opening up about her stunning transformation, Rebel revealed that back when she was contemplating the weight loss journey, some of the people on her own team were not too happy when she decided she was going to lose weight. She told the BBC, quote, I got a lot of pushback from my own team actually here in Hollywood when I said, okay, I'm going to do this year of health. I feel like I'm really gonna physically transform and change my life. This pushback was because she'd become known for her weight in the industry and she was getting roles as the quote, funny fat girl, as she says. Changing her entire branding at that point could have been the end of her career. However, she didn't let their opinions stop her because she knew she needed that change in her lifestyle to be as healthy as possible. She also knew she needed to address her unhealthy eating habits. Adding quote, I knew deep down inside that some of the emotional eating behaviors I was doing were not healthy, like I didn't need a tub of ice cream every night. That was me kind of numbing emotions using food, which wasn't the healthiest thing. Rebels also revealed her change in diet was in part to increase her chances of getting pregnant. She said on Instagram Live back in July, quote, it first started when I was looking into fertility stuff, and the doctor was like, well, you'd have a much better chance if you were healthier. Rebel says she was initially offended that he brought that up, but after thinking about it, she knew the doctor was right. She continued in the interview, quote, so that's kind of where it started, that if I lost some excess weight, that it would give me a better chance for freezing eggs and having the eggs be a better quality. It wasn't even really myself, it was more thinking of the future mini me, really. Now that Rebel has lost the weight up to 77 pounds at this point, she's now focused on maintaining the weight loss and not putting it back on, like she had done in the past. In an interview with Women's Health, Rebel spoke about the permanent lifestyle changes that she's made, saying, quote, The biggest lesson that I've learned is how to deal with my emotional eating, learning to process my emotions and deal with my emotions better. That's really what's changed my life for the better. Rebel has also shared with fans some candid posts about her journey and some of her low points that really encouraged the change. In August, she posted a throwback photo at her largest weight. In the caption, she spoke about all the bad things that happened around that time in her life, like losing her father to a heart attack. At that time, she was using food to manage her feelings. The caption read in part, quote, Okay, so I know I normally post flattering photos of myself, but I found this old photo in my emails and was like, whoa. She wrote in the caption, I remember this was when I was at my most unhealthiest, being overweight and indulging way too much with junk food, using food to numb my emotions. Finishing off the caption that she is so proud of herself and anyone who wants to make this change can do it if they try hard enough. In the Women's Health interview, Revel spoke about her current daily regimen. In 2020, she was focused on losing the weight, so in 2021, she was only trying to maintain. She said, quote, There were times last year where I was eating on a very strict diet, and then now it's more about balance. She said she's incorporated snacks back into her diet, and she indulges in the occasional ice cream and chocolate. To her, this approach feels more maintainable. She's also made an effort to make her past favorite unhealthy foods more healthy, like incorporating more vegetables in meals that didn't always include as many. For example, she loves to add shredded carrots and avocados to her tacos. She's also lessened her fitness routine, 
and added in more moderate workouts that are easier to stick to. She said, quote, I don't have to do such extreme workouts. It's really about enjoying exercise and physical activity. So I'll just go on a light walk. I'm not killing myself at the gym. Just last week, Rebel continued to share pictures of her new figure, posing on a couch for a New Year's Eve photo. She wrote in a stunning Instagram post, quote, starting off the new year strong. Happy new year to you legends, love from down under. She celebrated in her native Australia, sharing moments from the night on her Instagram, like fireworks and drinks with her friends. While talking to people, she also opened up about her current dating life. She confirmed that she's single after a split with her ex-boyfriend, Jacob Bush. And she says she isn't looking to date at the moment. She spoke about her single summer, saying, quote, I was doing the hot girl summer thing. I heard about it in rap songs and I was like, this sounds fun. But it really wasn't me. I'm more of a conservative girl normally. Although she confirmed she dated some people over the summer and had a nice time, nothing serious came out of it. Following the breakup, Wilson confirmed she hopped on a dating app to see who was out there, but she deleted it after she got way too much attention. I mean, being a celebrity on a dating app is definitely not easy. She also spoke about her weight loss and turning 40, saying, quote, Last year, I for the first time ever prioritized my health. And even though that was my 40th year, I was just like, it's never too late to improve yourself or to improve your health. I shouldn't feel sad or beat up on myself because of that. I should just feel proud of myself for actually doing it. As of now, Rebel looks phenomenal as an inspiration to women everywhere who are looking to make a lifestyle change. After researching a bit about her diet, I'm definitely going to start eating my meals slower and enjoy them. That was one of the principles of the diet. Number five, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill said in an interview with Men's Health magazine, when he auditioned to play James Bond in a film, the director told him he was too chubby, quote unquote, for the role. To audition, Cavill said he had to walk out with just a towel on, saying, quote, I remember the director, Martin Campbell, saying, looking a little chubby there, Henry, end quote, which, <laughs> screw you, dude, that's kind of rude, what the hell? But Cavill said he was following a poor diet at the time, and overall, the director's comment made him rethink his physical health and how he eats. I don't know how to train for a diet, he told the publication, continuing, and I'm glad Martin said something because I respond well to truth. It helps me get better. Again, it's great to see an actor take these things in a positive way, but it just goes to show the tough skin actors are required to have when they're in Hollywood. Number four, Mindy Kaling. Mindy Kaling's story is a lot like Amy Schumer's actually. Before The Office, a network offered Mindy Kaling a sketch comedy show based on her own life, which is great. Who better to play a person than that person? So it's a little strange though that this same network made Mindy audition for her own part and then rejected her from the role because she wasn't quote unquote considered attractive or funny enough to play herself. What? She told The Guardian quote, that network is no longer on the air and The Office went on to be one of NBC's most hit shows in years. I feel like karmically I was vindicated, but at the time it felt terrible, unquote. Number three, Carrie Fisher. Even when you are reprising an older version of a character you already played 30 years ago, some people in the industry still only care about how you look. Star Wars actress Carrie Fisher was pressured into losing 35 pounds in order to reprise her iconic role as Princess Leia in Star Wars The Force Awakens. She told Good Housekeeping, quote, nothing changes. It's an appearance driven thing. I'm in a business where the only thing that matters is weight and appearance. That is so messed up. They might as well say get younger because that's how easy it is. It doesn't matter how great of an actress you are, it doesn't matter if you played the role iconically when you were younger, Hollywood is Hollywood. Maybe it needs to change, I don't know. Number two, Ashley Benson. In 2016, Ashley Benson was told she was quote unquote too fat for a role to which she responded quote, I'm a size two. I cried for 30 minutes, but then you have to let it just roll off your shoulders or it could cause a serious eating disorder, end quote. She told Ocean Drive quote, a lot of people in this industry here they need to lose weight more times than they should. It does make you stronger though because if you let that affect you, you can't be in this industry. You'd go crazy. End quote. And that's the hard truth of it, really. Number one, Margaret Cho. And to end off this list is an example of just why this kind of behavior is dangerous. ABC told Margaret Cho that she was too overweight to play the part of herself in her semi autobiographical sitcom All American Girl. Cho ended up hospitalized with kidney failure from not eating. Years later, she told The Cut, quote, being called ugly and fat and disgusting to look at from the time I could barely understand what the words meant has scarred me so deep inside that I have learned to hunt, stalk, claim, own, and defend my own loveliness and my image of myself as stunningly gorgeous with a ruthlessness and a defensiveness that I fear for anyone who casually or jokingly questions it. 
End quote. Period. Exclamation mark. Oh, 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 oh,